Hey guys, uh, Daniel Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land. <laughs> you know, I giggle every time I do that, and I don't know why. Been doing that for years, uh, and a lot of people ask me, uh, especially new subscribers, why do I always raise my arms? You know, back when I first started doing that, and I first started making videos, I was still new, and I was still nervous in front of the camera, which I still am sometimes. And I wouldn't, you know, it was like a Ricky Bobby moment. I wasn't quite sure what to do with my hands, so I just put them up. <laughs> and I've been doing it ever since. Just kind of getting a giggle a lot of everybody. Um, I wanted just to take a minute and say some thank yous and a little bit of Q&A and stuff like that. Mm. Holy crap. And, you know, it gives me a good reason to sit down and enjoy the outdoors, have a good cup of coffee. And visit with you, my friends here. So now allow me to put my spectacles on here because getting old sucks. You know, I said that <laughs> Uncle Bill. One of the everybody on the creek calls him Uncle Bill. I mean, he's not my uncle. He's somebody's uncle. So he's an actual uncle. <laughs> everybody calls him Uncle Bill. He's 92 this year, and the other day he said something about having to wear glasses, and I said, "Yeah, getting old sucks." Hey, Uncle Bill. He's like, "I wouldn't know." <laughs> I said, what are you talking about? You're 92. He's like, well, he goes, I've been old for so long, I don't remember what it's like to get old. I just know what it's like to be old. <laughs> I, said, I got a kick out of that. But uh, I wanted to start off uh, by saying thank you very much for all the birthday wishes uh, and all the happy birthday messages. Uh, it really it means a lot to me. Um, I wanted to say thank you, uh, especially to... Uh, some some folks here that sent some gifts. Andy uh, from Andy's backyard and shop did that little sign that you made for the rabbitry is really cool. We like it. It is hanging up in our mini Rex barn. And at some point here, when I'm doing a walk around, I'll show uh, show the video of the sign that Andy made for me uh, for our rabbitry. Uh, like I said, his channel name is Andy's Backyard and Shop. I wanted to give a very very special thank you to uh, Jason and Kim from Hilltop Survival Equipment. They sent a birthday present. I got home from the river a couple of days ago, man, and there was a big old box in the house, a big box that come in the mail from Hilltop Survival Equipment. And uh, Jason and Kim had, you guys, I wish you wouldn't have done that, um, but thank you very, very much. If, uh, we'll put that, and they sent some traps, they sent uh, uh, some uh, a water filter. They sent us a couple of uh, uh, a bunch of bags of the uh, Mountain Home freeze dried stuff, uh, which my kids have already uh, eaten some of that freeze dried ice cream. That was that was it was different, but it was really good. That uh, that freeze dried ice cream. That's first the time we had that. We probably should have made a video about that, but I was all excited because they sent quite a few traps. I think they sent I think six or seven nice traps, man. Really nice stuff. And that's the kind of stuff that they carry on their website. It was really good quality stuff. And I, I uh, am extremely happy and I feel extremely blessed uh, that you think highly enough of me to send me a birthday present like that. Again, I wish you wouldn't have. I don't feel deserving of that kind, um, uh, that kind of gift. But uh, thank you very much. I will definitely put them traps to use. They are going to be boiled here soon with the rest of them. And we're going to use them up this winter. Uh, and it's, it made me smile, it made me feel good, and I really, truly appreciate it. I am going to leave a link, uh, I'll leave a link to Andy's channel, uh, I'll leave a link to Hilltop Survival Equipment. If you're looking for good, uh, good quality uh, equipment, whether it's trapping equipment, or preparedness equipment, or survival, they have military surplus items, uh, give, them, give them, you know, check out their website. Uh, and, uh, and give them a shot because they are they're, they're wonderful people. They've got a great heart and uh, they got good stuff, man. So it's uh, yeah, it makes me feel good. Thank you very much for all the birthday wishes. Um, speaking of birthday, thank you to everybody who got in on the birthday sale. Uh, I spoke with Giovanna uh, from North Texas Tees and we have decided we're going to extend that sale through the rest of the month. We'll just go ahead and run it through the end of August. J Day is the coupon code uh, for our website, and of course, I'll leave a link to our website in the description box. There'll be a lot of links in the description box today, y'all. <laughs> but check them all out because it's it's good stuff, and uh, we're going to run that coupon code. You can only use it once. I apologize for that, but that's the way that it has to be. 
Um, so uh, those of you who were unable to get in on it in the first of the month, uh, check it out towards the end of the month and uh, and get yourself some cool t-shirts or some Jane Hall gear or some regular dude fishing gear. Uh, and I truly, truly appreciate all your business. Uh, this is uh, one of the ways that we uh, that we support ourselves is the uh, little bit of money that we make from the website. So, uh, a couple of questions. Oh, you know what, too? I've been... Uh, there's a lady named... Vivian Ann and her daughter Ambe, and I've been thinking about them. I met them at the Homestead Conference, uh, the Great Appalachian Homestead Conference, and I just wanted to say I've been thinking about you guys, and I wanted to say hello, Ambe, and hello, Vivian Ann. Uh, I really enjoyed meeting you guys, and I really enjoy your channel, down to earth uh, and real. And you're doing what you can do with what you have, and that's kind of exactly how we live. Uh, you're in Appalachia different part of Appalachia but still Appalachia and I just wanted to say hello and uh, and let folks know that you're out there uh, uh, Two Lady Homesteader Hodge is the name of their channel and I will leave a link to that as well uh, good stuff she uh, Ambe has uh, she's 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 handicapped and I understand caring for uh, somebody with special needs uh, when you're trying to keep a homestead going and keep yourself prepared and, uh, and live this lifestyle. My wife is also extremely handicapped, uh, probably worse than your daughter is, Vivian Ann. And uh, so I respect the fact that you do what you have to do uh, to keep your place running, to keep your daughter cared for, and to keep everything afloat. Uh, I can truly connect with that because it's difficult sometimes when you have somebody with special needs uh, and you are trying to keep your everyday life going and keep that person uh, healthy and happy as well. And sometimes it can almost overwhelm you, uh, but don't. We can't let it. we got to just keep trucking. And sometimes life's going to knock us down, but all we can do is get up, knock the dust off of us, and keep moving forward. Who was that that said, uh, I think it was Dr. Martin Luther King that said, uh, if you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But no matter what you do, keep moving forward. And uh, she, she does that just like I do that. So I, w I would invite everybody to... Uh, to check out their channel because they do have good information and she makes uh, uh she makes she's real you know she's just like me she's real and uh, she's doing it she's living the life with what she has and uh two lady homesteaders hodge and i'll leave a link to that channel as well so uh, a couple of questions that i have been asked here recently i guess i can put my spectacles away now uh one dude asked me why i have a separate channel for my fishing uh, i have a separate channel called regular dude fishing is because I didn't want to, a lot of folks who watch my JNL channel, they don't, they're not into the fishing, they're not into fishing, they don't have access to places to fish, or that's just not what they're into, and that's okay. And I do a lot of fishing, you know, the river provides a lot for my family, uh, and so I wanted to do a whole separate channel and keep that part of our life separate from, from this channel, uh, and it's all just about fishing, it's just, it's just fishing, it's fishing stuff, fishing trips, uh, dudes talking about fishing and that kind of stuff, so... And not everybody's into that, so that's the reason why I started a whole separate channel, uh, just just for fishing, because I do quite a bit of fishing and fishing-related stuff, uh, and that's why we keep that separated. So I hope that makes sense. Um, another dude asked me what uh, I had mentioned in a video that I wanted to get some rod holders for our new boat, uh, because we do a lot of cat fishing, and those rod holders really makes it makes a lot better fishing. Uh, I am saving my pennies and going to be very soon ordering uh, some Monster Rod Holders. Uh, the name of the company is Monster Rod Holders, and I can leave a link to them as well in the description box. To me, those are, it's an American, the man's name is Steve Douglas, the catfish dude, and he's a he's just an awesome dude, man. He's awesome. Uh, he's very friendly. He works hard. Uh, this is his personal company, and uh, he's taught us a lot on his videos about fishing and, uh, and stuff like that and uh, and I would rather support him as a you know a, a, a small business owner than some giant company who mass produces stuff. Steve uh, does his own rod holders and I respect that and that is where that is what I'm going to be buying. Uh, not to mention they are fantastic rod holders. They are definitely monster uh, rod holders and they will handle great big giant fish or little bitty itty bitty fish that I catch. So that is, uh, those are the rod holders that I'm going to get. If you guys would like to see me put those on the boat when I get them and I install them uh, at some point whenever I'm able to get them, 
uh, then let me know and I'll make a video about that, how I'm going to mount them, where I'm going to mount them, and, and why, uh, and that kind of stuff. If that's the kind of stuff you guys are interested in, then let me know in the comments. And, uh, and uh, we'll make a video about that when I'm finally able to get them and stuff. Because I need to improve my gear as I go little by little. You know, us that don't have a lot of, a lot of resources, we can't just buy a whole bunch of stuff all at once. You know, we got to do it little by little by little. And that's okay, man. We're just regular dudes. That's what we do. And uh, that's how we make it. And that's, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with having to wait and save to buy things that I need or want. So, uh, another lady asked me what uh, I will be selling, I'll be making and selling on the website uh, via the auction. Uh, we're going to make a couple more of those winter hats. We call them the trapper style hats that we make out of the uh, buckskin leather that I make in our rabbit hides. Uh, and I think I have a video about that, making a trapper hat or something uh, from last year, year before, whenever we started making stuff. Uh, you can look that up, just do a search for making a trapper hat out of buckskin. And uh, you can see how we put them together. And then once I have one of them completed and going to be putting up for sale, then I'll show you guys on the video. That way you can see the color and all kind of stuff. So uh, we may make, if we have enough leather, uh, we may make a few sets of mittens uh, that will be lined with rabbit hides, uh, rabbit fur, because the uh, Rex rabbit fur is really warm and the buckskin leather is really durable. So, uh, But I don't know about that yet. I do know that we're going to be making a couple of uh, the trapper hats, the winter hats, um, and we'll be getting them up for sale here towards the end of the summer once we get through. You know, we got it because we hand sew everything, we do everything by hand. It takes a while, it's a process. So that's what we're going to be doing. Those are the uh, items that will be, hey Steve, that will be uh, getting up for sale here sometime time, time before the winter time. Um, and again, I just wanted to take a second and sit down and say thank you to everybody for your business on the website. Uh, and let you know that we're extending the sale. Uh, I wanted to give a special thank you to the uh, all the birthday wishes and uh, it uh, you know when you when you and I'm not gonna tell everybody exactly what my birthday is, but it was this month and uh, it's nice that all the comments that uh, when I did my birthday sale uh, video, all the happy birthday wishes was it was really it was really nice and it you know, uh, for somebody like just you know a regular dude like me who's a nobody in the hills of Appalachia to have so many people uh, wish me well it really it almost overwhelmed me and made me emotional and I really don't feel like I deserve any of it but thank you guys very much and I and I love the fact that we uh, can stick together as a community like this and uh, it, it, it's good life is good we don't have a lot but we don't need a lot so all right, guys, uh, that's it. I'm going to stop rambling. Um, check out the links in the description box, please. Uh, take a few minutes and check out the links that I leave in the description box. Uh, check out the uh, the channels and the businesses. Uh, you won't be sorry. They are well worth your time. Um, you guys have a great, great rest of the day. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, God bless. Ian. Buzz Buzz, the end.